Shout out to Vicky Pora who said, Hope, <laughs> you're having a lovely weather there. And it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's thunder and lightning and very, very frightening. I just came home from being out all morning and it's blowing a gale. And also there's a few broken trees or branches of trees on the road. Hang on. Why am I so excited and shouting? Because the weather, oh, it's calmed down now. See? Okay, it just needs more. Oh, please don't blow. I hope I don't get hit by lightning. I'm having an umbrella. It's drizzling. So, whatever I'm capturing, I'm capturing. I'm really scared. Did you hear that? Okay, the thunder has stopped. The few little crashes have stopped. Okay, now I haven't been checking my babies here, so they're all growing very, very well. I am really petrified of being hit by lightning. I don't know why. Oh, hello! What's your name? Pretty in pink. Look at you. You're all nice and gorgeous now. But she still keeps rotting every now and then, like a few dried leaves there. And then, but then new ones are growing, see? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh. Weather has been really, really bad. We only have like... Every day, oh yesterday was beautiful, but then it was mom's birthday, so we have to go and spend time with them. And hang on, why am I proceeding to clean up? So I think it's just instinctive. The minute I see dry leaves or something like that, then I have to just go and pull it off. Oh no! <laughs> Gorgeous, isn't it? Hang on. What are you? You are, are you Luella or Lexus? Lexus! Yes, it is. Starts with an L. See, I know my plants. <laughs> okay, I haven't checked my babies here. Oh, look at you. This is coconut eyes. Kanya, look at your coconut eyes that you gave me. And it's nice and big. What? Okay, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. It's grown out of those spotty leaves now. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shaped plant. And do I see some little nasties on top? No, it's just fluff from the farina. So sometimes you think it's a mealybug, but it's not. Oh, this one. This is, hang on, what are you? Cotyledon. That has been hit by fungus. Not fungus nests, but just fungus. So coming from winter and also there's a variegated one as well. So certain types of cotyledon I don't really like. But this one, I'll show you. This one. Oh, look at you. Hello. What are you? You are ghosty. Are you ghosty? Yes. Look how beautiful you look. Oh my goodness. You almost look like a Victor Kane, but still different. Victor Kane is boring. Hang on, let's go. Oh, Laui, you have recovered now. Those are my two Laui cuttings that I chopped up, grew it inside, and fungus and the fungus gnats attacked it, but now it's recovered. There's new leaves growing in the center, so which is good. Oh, my Romeos and Taurus. So that one is a Romeo, and those are one, two, three are Taurus. So, oh! If I take the kitten off, or my dead kitten off my camera, you can hear the wind. Oh, look, see? The swaying of the trees. Look at my bamboo. It's like going zhoo, 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 zhoo. And, okay. <laughs> I'm crazy. I know, but I love it. So, <laughs> I love being out here. And I can, I'm getting, oh, hang on, sorry. I forgot about my camera. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna show you my Andromiscus. <laughs> I get excited by everything, I don't know why. Look how beautiful that is. I haven't even put it in a special pot. I should really put it in a special pot. And there's another one here, my Trigynus. 
This is, I forgot this one. Oh, Festivus. See Festivus? Beautiful. And that, oh my goodness, those spots. Aren't they beautiful? Now, another, uh, I think they're Cristatus, Andromiscus, and Bicala is actually frost hardy. I grew it outside and it died and got hit by the frost, but then it came back. And this one now, Andromiscus trigynus. Yes, this one. That's a trigynus, which is very tri little. <laughs> is there tri? Yes, there's tri plants in there as well. Beautiful color. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. And this one, what are you? I have to see the label. Oh, Cap Van Keppel. Oh, Van Keppel somewhere here. I propagated that died. Now, this one is Andromiscus I don't know. <laughs> and this one, look. It grew around form and the center. I wonder when they grow. I haven't noticed that before, but they have a round form too, that one. And do you have a round form? Look, it's rounded. Can you believe that? Kanihini, hello. You look like a burrito. Or actually, yeah, you're not, but you're, you have to, to go. I have to take this out because this is very frost hardy plant. And look how they grow out like that and do I have one this one used to grow out there oh there is no I forgot now no there, there's one growing somewhere oh my goodness okay I'll put this one here so that way I can acclimatize it slowly because I put it in there because I don't know why I think I ran out of space I need to put something over that side the suyon that's it yeah I put the suyon in there just to sun her up this is my variegated suyon $35 and I think it cost me $10 a leaf Oh, because it was only like three and a half leaves when I got this one and it's supposed to be a variegated suyon there's a bit of variegation there but now it looks like a big red isn't it so Anyway, oh look, I took some cuttings off and I just dumped it there. And uh, Victorina, uh, said a very uh, rose, uh, green rose or something like that. And one cante, yes. That's just sort of grown. Okay, we'll put you there. Even though they've been there for like a week, throw it in the garden, put it in the soil, they just grow. They're like weeds, but this is beautiful. I love the Ionium. What are you? I forgot your name, Blushing Beauty. Look, down in the bottom here, look how big and red and colorful and green. And compared to compact, compact, compact. So cute, they're like, oh, I love them, I love them. In one of my videos or a couple of my videos, I used to say I hate Ionian because I can't grow it in my place. They normally get hit by the frost. And this one, the variegated Crassula, there was one time where in you have to pay like $50 for one stemmy thing like this, for this Southern Cross and also variegated whatever are you, um, Perforata Varigara. So there's, I think, I think two or three types in there. So I think it's just a trick sometimes. When a plant grows, why am I talking like 10,000 miles an hour? Anyway, it's because of the weather. So anyway, guys, I don't know how long this video is, nine minutes. Okay, now am I gonna cut it or not? I think I don't cut it. I'm just gonna let it be, let it be. I'm supposed to go outside and take a video out in the front to finish off another video I've done the other day. <laughs> I can talk 100 miles an hour, but, I'm not going to do that. Oh, yes, by the way, one of the websites selling succulents today, I am shocked. They were selling a dondo, sort of looking like that, but it actually looks similar to more like this one here for $30 or $38. I could not believe that. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Oh, are you waking up? Hello. I'm saying goodbye. And then now, they're supposed to go night-night as well, this that layer. But they're growing. I just noticed they're growing. They're getting big, guys, because we've been having cold weathers lately. I better have a coffee now. I haven't had coffee yet. That's why I'm like this. <laughs> okay, 30 minutes later, it's sort of calmed down a little bit because the rain's coming. It's starting to rain. I'm getting wet and I'm having my decaf cappuccino. Ooh, preview. Look what I'm working on if I'll have a chance to work on it. My life is so stressful <laughs> because I can't work in the garden again. I can't play in the garden. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna enjoy the wind and the rain and the thunder and lightning.
I wonder where the bird sleeps when it rains. Three days ago, when it was raining, I thought it'd be a good idea to put my Ionium Medusa inside my cage here so it does so it gets watered because it's all dry and yesterday I wasted at least half an hour walking around the garden looking for my Medusa <laughs> I reckon I'm losing it my mind is not with me anymore I think I'm getting old look at you and then I kept walking in here and looking down here. This is the story of my life. I have so much plants that I said to my husband, that's it. If I can't find my Medusa, I'm going to stop buying succulents and I'm going to sell all my succulents and I'm getting out of it. Because if my mind is not with it anymore, I'm just going to neglect them and not look after them. And what do you know? Two minutes later, I remembered I put her in the cage. <laughs> I'm hopeless. I have so many plants that you got no idea. I thought about counting it, but then it's going to take me a whole day to write it all down. At least a whole day. So why waste my time writing it down the whole day? I just go water my plants. But anyway, speaking of watering, I should really water it. And I just done a video of the burro's tail. And I overlooked this one. It's just hiding in the corner. And look how dry that is. And it's still alive. This was all cuttings that I chopped chop and grown. This is only, this is actually about a year ago, not less than a year ago, I think, when I just took some cuttings like, oh, what's that smell? Something it smells oddly something. But anyway, flower. Oh, this one. It smells like glue. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I'm going to call the ambulance. <laughs> we got a gas leak. We got a gas leak. This smells like durian. I don't know if any of you, the uh, Filipinos or the Asians, you're familiar with durian fruit. Now, it kind of smells like durian. Oh my goodness. Ha. Huh. Oh. Okay. Check your plectantos lobster flower. It smells like durian. But isn't that beautiful? Look, it looks like a lobster, the tip there. It's beautiful. It's like a lobster popping out. Oh, oh, it's a good thing I'm used to durian smell. So it's, it's not as bad as durian smell, but it does have a really strong fragrance. Because <laughs> it depends on, I love the durian smell, but a lot of people won't be able to handle it. My husband attacked one of my durian mochi one time and he just went oh that wasn't very nice i nearly threw it away and i was like no it's such a waste but anyway so this one now continuation of my video forgot to show you this you just go like that and you see that's nice and fresh there's an empty spot oh, it's falling off there's an empty spot there okay we'll leave it there you just leave it like that and that's how easily they are propagated so I'm gonna do this as well so now this is gonna branch off so that this is quite a long one now so just throw them in there so that way they're thickened up and I just tuck it in there in the gap of the pot and forget about it and when I come back a few months later I'm sure they'll be all nice and big we might as well even it out So, i sorry for those ones who's watching the burro's tail video. That's how easily you propagate it. So, leave it there. I won't water that now because it's going to rot if you do that. But what I do, I leave it for a few days and then I'm just going to drown that. And uh, water it and forget about it again and water it again. And when you do water it, which reminds me, I really have to water up. Okay, look at that. Oh, this one needs to be oh, propagated as well. Oh, Romeo seeds. Hang on. I have to harvest you. It's a good thing I was here. That's why I saved you there so you don't get wet. And so this is, what's you, my... Okay, hang on. No, that's not the... This is just an ordinary Romeo. But look at all the seed pods now opening up. So I have to bring that inside. So anyway, this one, 
I'm going to leave it there <laughs> and I'm going to forget about it. I will propagate it when I remember. So, this is so gorgeous. What are you? Mm-hmm. Ionium CV Varigara. Okay. After the storm died down, I quickly went into Bunnings Warehouse, our local, hard our local hardware store. And I bought Swing park bench for the garden and anyway I came back home or oh, while well, they're actually they're giving away free hamburgers and drinks so I had a hamburger and now that I've had a hamburger healthy because it's got lots of vegetables now I'm tired after eating I'm tired I want to go to sleep now this one is a Borium CV Varigara it's such a beautiful plant I'm actually contemplating I do a lot of contemplating lately I want to chop it up and I've seen a few videos online of people oh this is so nice but look at the shape there's a few videos online of how to graph ionium so we're gonna Frankenstein it so I don't know if I really want to do that maybe I will try with a couple of similar to see what happens first up but I don't really like the I need to have it like sort of blending in what was the other one this one okay so this is Arborium CV Varigata would actually this Castello Pave F Varigata Suncap the Suncap Ionium I think they would look great together because at, at least Hang on, look at the mosquito again. Look, can you see that? Look how big the mosquitoes are. Now, it's a dead mosquito. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So this one would be good, graph it together, and then to slowly introduce it, blend it with kiwi fruit. I mean kiwi fruit. <laughs> Ionium kiwi, I'm really sleepy. So with this one, which is not colored up right now because it's sort of in the shade. So that would actually probably look good. So we'll see how I go. And I just hit my pot here. I don't know. I really think, I think I really should go inside and have a sleep. Have a little nana nap. I haven't had my nana nap today. And it's been an exhausting day, busy day. So anyway, guys, that's all for now. And look, it's flowering. This is one of the ECS aloe to grow. And this is probably responsible for my... I love aloe, the different varieties of aloe. And I used to love this. Like, well, that's one of my favorite. But then I found out they're so easy to grow. They're like considered a weed. <laughs> and yet, I have this one growing in here because in the center there, I planted some begonia. But then now the begonia is not coming out because... It's cold. The others, actually, the other two have popped out, but this one hasn't popped out. So anyway, I'll show you this one here. That one, see the begonias coming out. What color are you? I don't know. But again, this one, see it's flowering. It's gorgeous flower. It's a beautiful plant. So easy to grow. It's like a weed. You put it in the ground and you forget about it. And they prefer the shade than out in the open. But out in the open, they still grow, but they just another mosquito. Look. Ah! dead mosquito again okay I better go inside now because I'm getting eaten alive 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 <laughs>